<sighs> What's going on, everyone? How are you all doing today? Okay, we're starting it up, and how is everyone doing? Alright, so, bounties don't go down for shit. What do you want? Let's see, what are we doing today? Not really sure, but we have quite a bit of inventory room. Is there a bank in here by any chance? There is. You're not. There you are. Take it from me. Oh, this only has a regular bank. Did not know that. Destroy that. Clear up my inventory. Tampering ally. Let's put that away. All right. So, what's going on, everyone? If you're just now tuning in, we started like three minutes ago, so still getting set up, but if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to answer them while I can, and yeah, so what we're going to be doing is grinding out more main quests for a little bit, and then we might place, so I don't know if we'll be able to finish it today, but we'll try to get as far as I can in a few hours. Yeah, thanks for the follow, by the way. Hope you have a good time here. Yo, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Alright, let's go back. I think we have a new main mission to start, so just give me a second. Everything should be fixed now. Doing good now that you stream? Never knew you had a Twitch. Yeah, I don't really stream that often, but now that it's like summer and stuff, I have a little bit more free time. So I'm streaming more often, but... If you're from YouTube and all that stuff, I still do that regularly and daily. But uh, for everyone who's like, uh, just wants to watch gameplay before it hits YouTube, this is the place. <laughs> so, it's nice meeting you, and hope you have a good time here. It's always cool, actually, meeting people who are from YouTube, but they never like leave comments or anything. But they watch you live, so it's always cool to like actually see people and see who's there. Pretty neat. Alrighty, so we have a new main story we're gonna be doing. That one should be fun. Hello? 
word has come back from the Black Hand. It's time to do to Lyra Viria what she did to her brothers and sisters. It's time for the Black Dragon to die. No. Due to his seniority and knowledge of the target, that honor's been bestowed upon Green Venom Tongue. He's already tracked Lyra to Night's Grave and is preparing to strike. I have a different task in mind for you. I want you to follow Green Venom Tongue and make sure the deed is done. I don't doubt his loyalty, but they were friends once. If he falters in the slightest, it will be his blood that stains the ground. No matter what, the Black Dragon must die. Go to Night's Grave and make sure that Green Venom Tongue succeeds. But if the Black Dragon manages to overcome him, then I expect you to end Lyra and make her pay for betraying her brothers and sisters. Of course, Assassin. What details are unclear to you? Night's Grave. Oh, I think I know where this is, is too. Near the northwest shore of the Gold Coast. Legends claim it dates back to the founding of the Order of the Hour. But now it's nothing but tumbled stones and forgotten memories. Whatever happened to Lyra after she purified her sanctuary and went to Kavach, it seems clear that she developed a powerful bond with the Order and their god. Green Venom Tongue believes she's gone there to contemplate her next move. Thanks to the efforts of you and Green Venom Tongue, we learned that the Black Dragon is Lyra Viria. Moreover, you discovered that Lyra was a member of the Dark Brotherhood, a silencer who was part of Green Venom Tongue's former sanctuary. Indeed. Perhaps that's where she acquired her taste for killing her brothers and sisters. After the purification, she received a contract to murder the current primate's predecessor, and consequently became Artorius's Black Dragon. The Primate has rallied the Order against us. Between the problems with the Sermonizers and the Chanters, and the revelation that the Black Dragon is the Order's first sword, it's clear that Artorias has a quarrel with the Brotherhood. He had no problem performing the sacrament. That much is certain. Artorias is dangerous, but Lyra remains the immediate threat. I believe you have somewhere to be, Assassin. Wow, rude. You guys ever have those days where your headset just doesn't feel even? Yeah, today is one of those days, apparently. Alright, so, uh, we could go do this one later. I knew our quest is around up there. Got a point, go put that in here. And let's continue on with the story for a little bit. So what's going on everyone? If you're just now coming from like YouTube or something. Hey, just found your YouTube channel and currently watching your ESO series. It seems pretty good. I'm subbing. Hey, thanks man. I appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying it so far. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. I'll try to do my best to answer it. Probably about to get wrecked with that bounty. Let's see. Alright, so the thingy is at the top. Um, well, there's no real fast way to get there. So I think we're just going to have to walk it. Alright, let's go up there. We've been up here once, but then it was uh, like for some trespassing and something. So we're going to go back later. Or we're going here now. So what we're doing is a main story now. I'm not even sure how many actual missions there are, but I want to try to get as far as we can today. All right, is there a way in? Possibly. Oh. Okay. 
So I think this is... I'm not sure how many story things there are, but we're on like seven out of like ten, possibly. Alright, we made it. Knight's Grave. Alright, we're going in. Oh, that's a really cool picture, actually. But yeah, for all of you here, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. I'll try to answer it. Regardless of if it's like gaming related or not. I got you. Um, Will this be on YouTube later? Yeah. Probably in a day or so. I have to like edit them down and whatnot. Whoa. Uh, is ESO my favorite game? Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's one of them I play the most though. I don't really have a favorite game to be honest. Examine the statues above. I found you. If you're going to follow me anyway, why don't you come and help me figure out how to open these doors? The matron sent you, didn't she? Wants to make sure I don't botch the kill? Very well. I don't mind the company. Oh, I guess you have to do it in a specific order. These braziers will open the doors, but I haven't been able to figure out the proper sequence to ignite them. Maybe you'll have better luck. This place was once important to the Order of the Hour, back when the group was first founded. <laughs> Trial and error. On the it worked. Well done. Okay, so if you ever have to do this in the future, it's one, uh, two, three, four. Future reference, I guess. It's really just trial and error. They oh. sent you to hunt me down. I suppose that's what happens when all the good assassins have already been eliminated. Lyra? Ah, a shadow. Clever. Very clever. The black dragons using shadows to track our progress. Uh, are you gonna play games like overwatch in the future um yeah actually i actually have a vlog video of what's coming up in june but in case you didn't watch it it's pretty much like this um i might do overwatch do we have the witcher 3's blood and wine i actually started it but i have to finish it and then uh, mirror's edge catalyst another like sherlock holmes game you'd kill me venom and hitman episode once. three Join me and forget your obligations. Join you? I am going to send you to the void, traitor. Do you have a preference on console or are you more of a PC gamer? Destroyed. What lies did Artorius fill your head with? Hold on, Lyra? after the dialogue ends. Mostly, um, I have all the consoles and I think just PC is just easier to record and stuff. And so I don't really have a preference, but I just play games wherever it comes out first. Assassin, so like, did you see that? Uh, since that the DLC a came out for this first, that's why I'm playing it there. We first. The I am done being used, Venom. Just leave me alone. I can't do that, Lyra. You brought this on yourself. And what up, Hostman? Try to avoid those Minotaurs if possible. But yeah, no console preference, just wherever it comes out first, essentially. I don't want to kill you. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so you're dead. Our way. One moment. I think I can get through that break the in fuck? the bars. Yeah, The Witcher 3 won Game of the Year 2015 for a reason. It was actually really good. I enjoyed it. 
but apparently most game. people like playing it instead of watching it. Did open this, other door. <gasps> this is still my kill, assassin. When one door opens, the best course is to leap right through. Try to find another path. If you hurry, maybe I'll let you help me make the kill. That looks like they would. That'd be like a weak wall. Defeat the Minotaur. Follow me and you die, assassin. You can't defeat me. Yeah, man. Literally, I'll be sticking around for all those games. I love all the games you'll be playing. Yeah, nice. Oh my god. Okay, so the Minotaurs usually have like a charge attack, a slam, and an AoE. I usually just play a lot of new games, but then uh, during the summer, as you may imagine, there's not too many new games coming out. So that's why I like taking recommendations from viewers and stuff. And that is always fun to do. Let me know how the audio is. Is it too loud or quiet? I can always adjust it. You are a determined one, I'll give you that. You must have really bought into the Brotherhood's lies. Rick. Alright, so let's see. Find Green Venom Tongue. This way. Thank God for mini maps. I don't want to use my ulti yet. I just realized I still had a poison on. Take that off. Save that for the boss. Oh wow, didn't realize you streamed. I've been subbed to you for on YouTube for a while, but I barely watch. Oh, no worries, man. All good. Now that it's like summer and stuff, I have a lot more free time to just stream and stuff. So that's why um, I'm doing it. Plus you guys get to see gameplay in advance before it actually goes on YouTube. So that's always pretty cool. Plus I get to answer your I questions and whatnot. Her, always neat. But Lyra was always a step faster than me. I saw the wrath of Sithis assassin. The dread father hunts her too. Just like in the old story, your the blade of Sithis. Kill her, and the dread father will claim her soul. Oh, he's dead. Um. Important question. What race is your favorite in ESO and the other Elder Scrolls games? Um, I always like playing a Dragon Knight or Templar. Those are my two favorite. What did the Brotherhood give me? Nothing but guilt and shame. You brought that upon yourself, lady. It's your fault. Alright, so... We're starting today off at 278 champion points. Hopefully we can hit at least 280. That would be pretty neat. The Order? They offered me redemption. But in the end, it was just more lies. Oh my god. Do you know whose lies hurt the most? Primate Artorius. <laughs> Artorius isn't as pious as he pretends. You know, he even had me murder his beloved mentor. Let me just switch that button to be like break free. Are these all bookshelves that we... Oh my god. I don't think we actually get any XP since most of our stuff is 50. But we still get a bunch of lore books. I assume most of you guys who are playing this are on console or something. And... Yeah. Unfortunately, that comes out in like less than two weeks from now. But and now I kill ten days. I was actually considering getting it on console as well, whenever it comes out, just to see how it is. I wonder if we betray the Brotherhood, 
does the wrath of Sithis really claim our souls? Oh, this looks like a boss Green fight. Just a little bit. What boss hope do arena. You have? Even my shadows are more substantial than you. Now's your chance to impress me, assassin. Oh, do not stand in that. Do not stand in that either. Me every flaw, every weakness. Okay. I figured that was a little too easy. Maybe I shouldn't have used my ulti there. So this is like phase three or something. Uh, are champion points unlimited or not? Um, right now I think the cap is at 501. That's what I've seen. But I assume they'll probably raise the cap in the future. But as of right now, 501. I'm still confused as to what is going on. Is this a Brotherhood quest? Yeah, this is a main story quest. But yeah, if you're just like randomly watching it now and didn't watch the other story parts, it might be confusing. But luckily, they're all on my channel, so you can watch it whenever. Like, it's all in order, organized on a playlist. I told Artorias the location of your sanctuary. Brema was good enough to reveal it to me before I slit her throat. And here we are. I'm ready to die. Let's see if you're good enough to kill me. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have ulted there. I didn't know that was a uh, mini boss, I guess. All right, I'm ready. You remind me of who I was. That's why I'm going to kill you. If not redemption, then let me have battle. <laughs> You moved. At least in combat, the lies we tell are pure. It gave me magic twice. That is like the worst one you can get in the middle of a boss fight. No. What's happening? The stories were true. Sithis! Have mercy! That escalated quickly. Fucking bodied. Um, how long have I been live for? 25 minutes so far. Well, we killed one person, but somehow I don't think it's the end for another like few more missions. I would assume. <sighs> All right, this is where you exit. Sweet. All right, we're getting ready. Um, NPC person, repair armor. Dude, have you played any of the other Elder Scrolls games? Uh, yeah, I played Morrowind and Skyrim, but that's about it. And of course this one.
So we got that. Let me see. Where are we at right now in Dark Brotherhood? Zero out of 50 XP. Great. Fantastic. We might get like 10 or 20 XP from this one. Hopefully 20. The Black Dragon killed Green Venom Tongue, didn't she? Damn her to Oblivion's darkest realm, and damn me for sending another brother to his death. But what else? Tell me the rest, Assassin. As it was ordered, so was it done. I'm impressed, Assassin. Lyra turned her back on the Night Mother and killed so many of the family, but you brought her down. The Void gathers all souls. But something else troubles you. Talk to me. The Black Dragon made our sister talk. I'd bring Lyra back to life and kill her again if such was within my power. Arturius knows our location. As soon as he gathers the courage, he'll send the Order of the Hour against us. How often do you stream just so I know when to watch? Um, not really sure. I don't have a schedule, but it's mostly like during the week. I don't know. Mostly like five or six times a week, I guess. But uh, if you just follow the channel, it, like you can have a notification um, to let you know when I go live. Or if you follow me on Twitter, I announce it there. Or pretty much anywhere on my social media, to be honest. Eventually, when Artorius feels the time is right. But he'll hesitate to make the first move. To send his soldiers into our viper's nest. We have time to prepare. In the meantime, I'll confer with the speaker. When you return, the primate will die. Sweet. So the new blade brought down the black dragon, and I didn't expect you'd survive your first contract. All our brothers and sisters murdered, but we are safe now, right? The black dragon's dead. The assassin ended the threat of the black dragon. But we won't be safe until Artorius joins her in the void. But the primate speaks for Akatosh. Isn't that blasphemy? Alright, so we have to do quite a few contracts now to um, get our thingy up to the next level. Hold on. This isn't the way. That's not the way either. The F. So like every 20 hours you get a bonus. Oh, we'll do it later. Uh, so I guess for now we'll we'll just do some contracts and level up our brotherhood. I think we're at like seven now. Bounty still at a thousand. That is rough. Okay, yeah. the bear. That was like an odd color. Let's see. Grotwood, all the way at the top. We're probably going to get hit by one of those guards. So, not too bad. What time is it where you are? Um, 6.52. Give me a second. As I gotta clear something. Gotta check something real quick.
All right, what is going on, everyone? Oh my god. It's making sure that video went live. All right, we're good. Sorry about that. We're on our way again. Let's see. Where is our target? I hope he's not in like the most open area. This one's this one smells fear. Well, that worked out in everyone's favor. Dude, I'm six hours ahead of you. I'm assuming you live in the UK then. Greetings. Somewhere, oh, you're behind here. Fuck. Bodied. Soon, this one must return to Syringa. Hopefully. Hmm. Alright, so we got one down and a lot more to go, like eight. Gold Coast, back here. Such a grind, just doing all these contracts over and over. Still so many people, that's impressive. Fortunately, you don't get XP for doing the bounties in here. But you do get like gold and stuff, so that's a cool. Other than that, nope. So for everyone who's just now tuning in, what's going on? How are you guys doing today? I think Twitch alerts might be broken. I don't know. Got another contract done. 15 out of 50. So 7 left. Alright. We're going to Glenumbra this time. What? Yeah, exactly. You're a wizard. No, it's just I know time zones for the most part. Well, sorta. Alright, so seven more of these contracts and we get a new main mission. This is probably the boring part of the Brotherhood. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can ask me anything. Numbra. Is the Dark Brotherhood like the last ES games? Um, what do you mean? It's kinda in a way, but it's more just like contracts and assassinating people. So the story is kinda there. But, uh, not completely. I like it, though. Join the Lion Guard for the Covenant, for King Casimir, for the High King. All right, so let's go find our target. Hopefully. Hopefully he's not next to, like, a bunch of other people. Oh, there he is. Bodied. Well, that was easy. If all 
Contracts go this well without getting detected on anything. It's great. Let's get out of here now. Um, Gold Coast. What game am I looking for this month? Like my favorite game? Um, I don't know to be honest. Mirror's Edge seems like an interesting one, but there's not really too many games coming out in the summer. There's one called Dead by Daylight coming out on the 14th. I might check that one out. It's a multiplayer one. It's kind of think like Evolve. But I'm not really sure. It's like an indie game though. But we'll check it out. And also, yeah, this will be on YouTube if you can't like catch the entire thing, but just tomorrow or whenever. What were your first thoughts on ESO? Um, open world Elder Scrolls game. I don't know. It's not bad. I liked it. I still do like it. Like, it's a very casual MMO compared to, like, let's say World of Warcraft or something. But I assume the people who play this are more, like, you're either into PvP completely or you like the story. So, or both. But this one has more of a story to it. Like, that's easy to follow compared to some other games or some other MMOs that are just more complicated. And you actually have to like actively look for stuff. Dead by Daylight, I have a beta code but, um, for my laptop, sucks, I won't even try. Uh, I don't know, I don't think it's like a difficult game to run, but I don't know yet. I'll probably just buy it whenever it comes out. Uh, hi man, I don't know if you remember me. I haven't caught the stream for a while. I think your name sounds familiar, but uh, welcome back, buddy. But yeah, it's pretty cool that a lot of you guys are interested in this. Either that or you found my YouTube channel somewhere, and that's why you're here. By the way, how many of you actually play World of Warcraft? Because they're apparently Twitch is doing that promotion thingy for the movie that's coming out. Like, I might actually go see it because it looks pretty cool. I played World of Warcraft for like half a year, and that was like off and on. All right, let's go find a target in here. Oh my god, you are actually out in the middle of the open. Ugh. How am I going to do this? Opinion on the new DLC. I can't get it yet. I'm on PS4, but I'm on Uncharted until then. Uh, so far, I really enjoy the story. Like The story for the Dark Brotherhood definitely beats out everything else. But um, just getting the contracts and stuff is kind of annoying to do. It's kind of like Thieves Guild. If you've uh, played any of the other ones. Like you have to get your Brotherhood level rank up a little bit. So. Oh my god. You know what? Fuck it. We're about to get detected. You're standing in the worst spot. Hmm. I have to assassinate this lady. But she's 
out in the middle of the open. Come on. Guards, apprehend that foul murderer. Fucking bodied. Rip. I look the other way for some people. I found your channel by wanting to watch ESO a long ESO series. I found don't think of running. It's time to pick. go. Nice. Well, I think I have the most videos of ESO on YouTube. Like over 800 or something. But, uh, I noticed the older videos are hard to watch just because I was so bad at this game. And, like, the first, I don't know, 150 parts is, like, me just trying to do the story, not knowing how to play the game. Now, this is why I try to, like, make guides and stuff for people just, like, wanting to try the game. So, I don't know. Back when I played, there were no guides on YouTube. I had to figure everything out myself. Nowadays, you could just look up whatever. Where am I going? What the heck? Um, you know, Uncharted 4, I didn't really like it as much. Like, it was a good game, but I like 3 more. The graphics are definitely really beautiful, though. There's just something about 4 that I didn't really like. I like the story, though. Um... Okay. <laughs> Caught up. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. How many more? We're at 20 out of 50. So, like, six more main quests. Or six more contracts. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. This area. Just doing the contracts is a grind. Yo. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good time here. Uh, what do you think your next ESO or the next deal ESO DLC is? Um, not sure to be honest. Like if we're going from like Skyrim and old stuff, I'm not really sure because they really had everything. But obviously they're gonna be adding more stuff. So could not tell you. Bancorai spree, great. I think that was all of them for like the previous Elder Scrolls games, right? Like all the factions and stuff, since they have Brotherhood, they had Thieves Guild. They had Orsinium already. Not really sure what else they can add. Unless it's... If they add more stuff that's straight up PvP only, there are people that are going to like it, but it's just... I like playing through the story more often than the PvP. I just... Something about ESO's PvP system just is not interesting to me. Like, I actually like fighting other people, not standing there destroying walls and stuff. Banker Eye Spree. Got it. Ooh, we gotta kill people in town. I don't know, but they could probably... If anything in the future, they're going to add some PvP stuff. Kind of like Imperial City, but who knows. All right, so we can't kill guards, but we have to find people that are out in the open. Let's try to find alleys and stuff. Those are where people don't really go. <sighs> Let's see. Is there anyone here?
a random civilian. That never gets old. Player housing in December, apparently. What does that mean? Are there any people, like, randomly behind here for some odd reason? That never gets old. Hide in the shadows. Why is this here? What the? One more. Oh, that's a guard. Can't have people out in the middle of nowhere. Or just out in the open. Gotta find people hidden. Like you, possibly? I don't think so. It... What? What is that? Oh, like you can buy houses and stuff? Oh, okay. I didn't know they would add that, but if they do, that's pretty neat. There's nothing secret around here. You listen, lady. I don't, I don't suppose this works. I just need to find someone who's out out here. Oh, you're dead. Ah, oh, just a dead body over there, no big deal. If you can actually do that, like buy houses and stuff, that'd be pretty cool. The only game I know that actually does that besides Fallout, as in an actual MMO, is uh, Black Desert Online. Like, you can do that. I never really played that game that much. I put in maybe, I don't know, 10 hours, and just, I was like over it. Alright, so we got a bounty again. Let's see, I think I gotta go fence some things. Greetings. Oh, you're creepy. Fence? What do you want? Yeah. Hello. I'm in the open good I suppose some people will call it theft. How to lose money. What do you want? Uh Final Fantasy Online uh 14. Yeah, I knew I never really I never played it actually, but I've heard of it. I heard it was good though. It's just Square Enix hates YouTubers, so or at least a Japanese the Japanese side of Square Enix hates YouTubers. So it's just like hard to upload videos and stuff of like that. Otherwise I would. What kind of quest is that?
but I can't get Final Fantasy 14 and won't let me. Why not? They have veteran 16 or not veteran, uh, 160 Scoria helmets now, right? Because I need to get one. Uh, plus a MMO monthly subscription that. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't really mind paying for a subscription if the game doesn't suck. So, I'm kind of glad they removed the subscription for this game and just made it optional. Otherwise, I probably would not be playing it that much. It says I already have a Final Fantasy 14 account and I can't recover it. Uh, usually you can recover it with the email you have, so I don't know. Unless you forgot your email or something, I don't know what to tell you. What else is here? Got the fucking thingy. Um, Reaper's March. Where? town is it in oh over here I couldn't see it Which is, in your opinion, the best DLC for ESO? Uh, Orsinium, 100%. That was my favorite one, just because uh, the main missions weren't blocked by your brotherhood or level, or like your skill line, like this and the Thieves Guild. It's not blocked by that. You can do whatever. Stealing rotten tomatoes and other refuse from Stable Master Semiral's midden heap. Plus the story was pretty good for that. I enjoyed that. The Kajit. 16 more days till full max out. Nice. For all of these crimes, this one sentences him to the stocks until such time as he shows proper repentance. Hail. Oh, I found it. And we're out like nothing happened. Hello there. Bethesda have a secret at E3 no one knows about. I hope a Skyrim remake to tie us over. Uh, I wouldn't expect another actual Elder Scrolls game for a while. Because they decided it would be a good idea to make a fucking card game out of this. Like, it's called Elder Scrolls Legends or something. And I think that might be the next thing coming up. So, I don't know why they did that, but it's whatever. Skyrim Remaster. Um, or I consider that the PC version, but I guess so. 
I don't think they would waste their time on it, to be honest. They might just make a new one, not a remaster. Hey John, do you have a list of games you'll be playing throughout the entire year? Uh, anything that has a release date now, yeah. But for the most part, like just the big AAA titles every year, I usually play those as well. We're at 40 out of 50. Nice. Green shade. Dude, every uh, company is doing a card game nowadays. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of the RuneScape one. That one is got to be the most annoying one. I was watching some other people play it. And my god, that is like the most... I don't know. It's in beta right now, but man, there's too much animation time, not enough gameplay. So if you've ever heard of that one, probably for the best that you avoided it. Oh no, Hearthstone did something right, even though that game infuriates me a lot. I still play Hearthstone on a regular, I just don't like record it or anything. If you if you picked the location for ES6, what would it be? I have no idea. The If anything for a new Elder Scrolls game, they should make a new entire area. Kind of like what they did for the Bioshock games. You know how they had Bioshock 1 and 2? And then they made Infinite, which was like a whole new setting. And Infinite was actually pretty good. I'm not sure how many of you guys have played it because that game came out like, I don't know, three years ago. But uh, if they just made a new setting for it, that'd be pretty sweet. dead rip what other games are you all interested in that's coming out uh, this year a lot of people have told me no man's sky but man I just do not see the interest in that I'll probably still play it but it just like, I, the game has been delayed. They've been announcing it at E3 for the past like two years. I kind of lost all the hype for it. So hopefully in August when I try it out and buy it, I don't regret it. Um, let's see what else. Half-Life 3, you know that's not even official yet, right? They haven't announced anything. And even if they did announce a Half-Life 3 game, the expectations from everyone would be so high that I feel like so many people would be disappointed with it. But can't really say... I'm too big into the Half-Life series. I played both 1 and 2, but it's like, eh. Definitely a little too old for my liking.
Final Fantasy 16. I am pretty sure you meant 15, but pretty much the same thing. Two seventy nine. All right, so one more, then we get another main story. Hopefully, not Skyrim Two will not be the next ESO game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure EA is the worst with those, like, clickbait titles. Like, whoever thought of doing that Battlefield game last year, my god, did you put no effort into it. I've never been so disappointed. And then all the Call of Duties. Infinite Warfare. I'm gonna play it, not really hyped about it. Call of Duty 4, probably gonna play that one. Let's see, what else? Where are we going now? Molobog Tour, where is that? Over there. That shrine is out in the middle of nowhere. There's a lore book here. I guess I'll go take it if I find it. Another lore book. I think a lot of developers don't care anymore. Yeah, pretty much. This is why... 2016 wasn't that great in terms of games. I mean, there are a few good ones. Dark Souls 3 was fantastic. What else do I have? I don't even remember. How do I have so much time for all these good games? Um, I don't really. <laughs> I mean, like YouTube is kind of a job for me, so that's why I put in more time than I should. But uh, it's not a full-time job, fortunately. Definitely do not make enough money to do YouTube full-time. And as for Twitch, I just do it for fun. I don't make absolutely zero off of that. Pretty much everything I make off uh, YouTube is pretty much to cover games. Maybe one day in the future. It'll be a full-time thing. And as for Twitch, make absolutely zero. All donation-based. All right, so where's the target? Yo, thanks for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your time here. I can't find the target. Where are you? Come out. Are you in the building somewhere? I can't find it. Can't find a target. Where are you?
A dual or triple monitor? Only two. So like this one, the monitor right here is what I'm playing on. This one is when I'm reading chat and stuff. So that's about it. I would like a triple monitor. I just don't have room for it on my desk. Uh, I guess we'll go inside these houses maybe. Yo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good time here. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. Got you. Alright, I actually can't find a target. It's frustrating me. Can't find the hand sign thingy. Uh, what is one tip you can give someone wanting to start ESO? Um, let me see. It one tip use common sense and don't put points into stuff that you won't need also um, don't buy stuff like don't buy weapons and stuff early on uh, the best way to get items is either by finding it or crafting it late game so save your gold until you actually need it and probably learning how to craft early on is probably a good thing to know. But not really sure to be honest. That's hard to tell. Oh, there it is. Yo, fuck off. That took longer than it should have. But if you're just now starting out in the ESO, Feel free to ask me anything. I'll try to help you as best as I can. Um... Where is the shrine? Over here. I just bought all the DLC. Which order should I go in? Um, well, the release date order it came in was Imperial City came first, but that one's PvP only. And then Orsinium came out. That's a really good one. And then Deep Guild. And assuming you are playing it on PC, the Brotherhood one is out now. So first is Orsinium, then Thieves Guild, then Dark Brotherhood. So none of them are really story connected to the main game. So you can play them in any order and nothing will change. But if you're, in my opinion, Orsinium is my favorite one. And then Brotherhood is so far better than Thieves Guild. If you like grinding the game, like doing contracts and whatnot, then uh, Brotherhood should be first, and then Thieves Guild, and then if you just like open world exploring, then do Arsenium. Oh, Even the simplest contract represents a pact one enters into with the Dark Brother. Alright, so we got to level 8 now. I think it maxes out at like uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, probably 14 or something. So we have to go back to the shrine and then we're going to have to come back here.
By the way, this month, all of you who follow me on YouTube as well, apparently the Oculus should be arriving sometime by the end of the month, so we'll be taking a look at that. Just for anyone who is interested. But if you're just here for ESO, disregard it. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to do a new story mission now. Assassin, there's something happening at the sanctuary. Everyone's Filling the void. Alrighty. Hey John, how long have you been live for? Hour and fifteen minutes? So our Brotherhood rank is at eight now. See, okay, we'll start this one. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully, more boss fights. That would be great. We're talking to the speaker now. The Black Hand has studied the situation, and we have devised a strategy for dealing with the Order of the Hour. We will strike first. Attacking from the shadows and winnowing their numbers while you stalk our true enemy, Primate Artorius. I want you to kill Artorius and fill the void with his blood. Let the Order see what it means to challenge the Dark Brotherhood. Show them what happened when you hunt the Hunters. But reaching Artorias will require all of your brothers and sisters. One man who hides behind thick walls and a small army. We sent Tanik to Gvatch to find a way to breach the cathedral's defenses. Astara and the rest of your brethren will follow after you. Get to Artorias and kill well, assassin. Meet Tanik in Gvatch. You should have had plenty of time to find a way past Artorius's defenses so that you can enter the cathedral. Other members of your family will join you once the way has been opened. As some in power reach higher levels, the rungs they stand upon become more tenuous. I assume that since Artorius once used the Brotherhood to rise to the top, he began to worry that someone would do the same to stop him. He decided to strike first. These orders come from the Black Hand. <laughs> Besides, your matron has another task. She leads your brethren on a hunt. To pick off the order, reduce their numbers. They'll be at your side when you need them most. And then... And we're a collection of lone assassins. I say let them come. Let them march into our empty halls as the shadows close around them. We are those shadows, cutting them down one by one. When night falls upon the Order, it will be everlasting. Does that surprise you? People from all yeah, walks thanks for the of follow. life Appreciate the it. services we provide. Nobles, Hope you have a good time priests, here. commoners. It makes no difference to the Night Mother. Artorius wanted to become primate. He asked us to remove his predecessor, and we complied. Sorry I wasn't talking much. This is a uh, main story mission that we're doing now, so I actually wanted to listen to it for a little bit. But now we are on our way. Um, over here. Good. The amount of times I've had to walk there and back my god I assumed there's only like I don't know two or three more main story missions for the Brotherhood but pretty good so far Okay. 
Okay. When does this come out on console? June 14th. That's what I've read. So, like, 10 days from now? Maybe 9? Uh, what's today's date? Today's the 4th. Okay, so yeah, 10 more days. Alright, so over here, we'll go talk to this dude. And we'll get this mission started up. Hello there. Let's see. Alright. Greetings. Uh okay, so we'll do that one later for the bounty board. Actually we'll just pick it up now because I'm probably gonna forget to do it later. Looming shadows, what is that? Oh, this one. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll do that another time. It's not a big deal. You don't really get XP for Brotherhood, so I don't really have time. Just Greetings. want to do the main story. If I had known I'd have to do manual labor, I never would have joined the Brotherhood. But I found a way into the cathedral that isn't locked up tight. It just took some digging. No, really. Some actual digging. Inside this mausoleum. When they expanded the catacombs under the cathedral some years back, the floor of this crypt collapsed. If you're squeamish, don't worry. Somebody was kind enough to relocate the bodies. I had no trouble expanding the hole. Heavy lifting. More like heavy digging. I had to clear some rubble out of the way. But now there's a passage that's big enough to maneuver through. Um, I don't know whether to start playing ESO again, not being disrespectful, but seeing as you're playing it on your own. Is it any fun? Because all my friends have stopped playing it, and it'll only be me, and is PvP dead? Uh, no, PvP is not dead. It's actually the majority of people who play it are doing PvP at this point, and if you're doing it for PvE content, um, you could do the entire thing solo, for the most part. So, whatever you're into so if you're into pvp it's still populated so that's good and if you're doing pve uh you could do the entire thing by yourself if you wanted to so either way still good and yeah it's kind of fun i enjoy this mmo just because it's like simpler than most others but uh whenever legion comes out we're gonna be playing that one for a bit. Oh! Wamasu. A juvenile Wamasu. There was no way getting around him. No, stop giving me magic. Give me stamina or health. Oh, that's a boss. We don't have an ulti yet. Fuck it. YOLO. Okay, give me a... You take care of the mother. Just don't stand in the cones and you should be able to kill the... the oh god. I'm stuck. Jammed. Stuck. Electrocuted. Stuck. Okay, let's try that again. I got stuck. It was like... I got perma-stunned, essentially. Maybe... Okay, let's try killing the adds. Oh, 
Okay, so don't stand in the center. That's good to know. Uh, will I need any of the Deep Skill to Dark Brotherhood abilities if I go to Orsinium first? Nope, they're not connected. Intense. You can do whatever you want in any order. I'm glad you showed up when you did. There you are, Cole. Did you Okay, pro tip, don't again? stand on the electric thingy. I never rest when there's trouble around. We dealt with the big monster, and now I'm taking a break. <laughs> So those conduct electricity and cause perma stuns. Do not stand on it. You said one of the pirates saw a werewolf. What's such a beast doing down here? What the fuck? Healer. Kill the healer first. Right out. Out. A health, health one, good. When they link like that, it's actually kind of rough. Astara, assassin, this way. Maybe we can get through that gate. Is it locked like the last one? I should have brought a pry bar. <sighs> it's sealed up tight. We can't get through this way. Artorius really doesn't want any company, does he? Fanatics that moves gets an arrow in the eye. What are you waiting for? Get in there and kill those murdering deviants. Who are you? Above us. Okay, so boss is coming soon. You gotta kill all the ads. Don't stand in the red circle. Till the boss appears. You have meddled in our affairs for the last time, murderers. That one's trouble, assassin. Prepare yourself for a real fight. Brotherhood dogs, this ends now. Apparently you cannot hit them yet. Kill the mender. Luckily, I have extra heals and resources. Enough. I'll take care of you myself. Bro, we kind of half waiter. Fucking body. That's right. I could have handled those militant fools. Nine gold boss fight. I, I love this game. My God. I don't think they'll ever fix their rewards for this game. Like, you can kill a boss and get 9 gold. That actually just happened. Assassins in the catacombs, show me. I need aid! Kill the healer. Okay. Can't get you on the stairs. There are really enemies around every corner. Jesus. I think we're kind of close to the real boss now. That's a soul gem. A 
comments, and old Jim. So, the assassins finally arrive. Time to die, Artorius. Time. Time is my domain, but not yours. Alright, so we should probably kill the ads first. Especially the healers. I guess. Oh god. He threw a spear. Threw some ultimate down on him while we take care of the others. He's just taking slow damage. What the fuck? Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. We'll pretend that never happened. Most of the ads are down. It freezes up when you're in. Let's stand behind this and try to take out the ads first. If the boss doesn't aggro me just yet, that's good. I must wait, let me just test it. Is it unlimited ads until Yeah, it's unlimited ads. Try that again. Oh, so this is like one of the other DLC bosses, right? I'm gonna try to keep my shield up at all times. So you have to, okay, so he's shielded right now. You have to kill the ads. A boss with actual phases in this game. Whoa. Time is on my side. No. That bad. It's just like the ads. Oh god, so bright. Strike true. Oh my god. I just witnessed a murder. Oh, you're dead. To the void I think you died. May the dread father grant you the welcome you so richly deserve. Stand tall, brothers and sisters. We are the Dark Brotherhood. Now back to the sanctuary, my assassins. We have friends to remember and a victory to celebrate. That was probably the most complicated battle I've ever done in Elder Scrolls Online. That wasn't even that complicated. It had phases. Oh my god. Well, he's dead. The way he died, though. The <laughs> fuck? He killed a boss and he didn't even get a reward, though. Disappointment at its finest. I have so many questions right now. Like, the fuck? Alright, well... That just happened. Um. Whoa. Where am I? Hello. I guess we're leaving now.
I don't even know what to say to that. It's like, I hope that wasn't it. I'm just, I don't even know. Um, anything else now that we're, we just killed the boss. Should be free to answer any questions or anything. Good to go. Who is the boss guy of what? The Brotherhood? The boss is that lady with the white hair. Welcome home, assassin. I know what occurred, but I want to hear it from your lips. Say the words, and say them loud. Then the head of the beast has been cut off. Well done, assassin. Well, not really. We will reach out to Count Carolus and the Order of the Hour to make sure this ill-conceived war ends here. How many more DLCs do you think there will be for ESO? Uh, I have no idea. Pro hopefully a lot. Regarding Artorius and the Black Dragon? No. That threat has passed. But there is one more thing. Step back, assassin, and prepare yourself. Oh. oh, we got it. Sweet mother, sweet mother, look upon your child and smile. For the unworthy have been cleansed in blood and in fear. His heart shines with the color of night. His song sings with the music of life. His gaze inspires fear, and his hands grant the gift of death. The Dread Father acts through him, and his work has just begun. Step forward, loyal brother. Step forward, my silencer. I think we beat the DLC. Hey, hey Sisis. I think we beat it, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, so what you get when you beat it is... Wait, hold on. Um, You get these two titles, The Bane of the Gold Coast and Silencer. That's pretty cool. And we get the robe thingy. And then we get the knife. That's neat, I guess. Most of all, we got the black hand robe. That looks kind of weird. Screenshot, thumbnail, got it. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks kind of weird. Hmm. Well, all right then. We beat the DLC. What do I do with my life now? Either that or... I don't... Somehow I don't think it... I think it's done, but somehow I'm not sure. Wait, let me just check. We're at 10 out of 50. Uh, to shroud when you're using the Blade of Woe. Shielding you from being witnessed and receiving. That's really good. Except you get it at 10. <sighs> Alright, well. 
Uh, destruction staff is at 42. Got that. I don't know what to do anymore. I beat the DLC. <laughs> All right, I guess. Well, I'll do one more contract, and no, wait, hold on. Let's go over here, pick up our daily thingy from that. I forgot to do it, so I'm not sure what I want. Probably something to conceal. Never mind. I'll come back another time. Can't be bothered. So, now that we finished that. Apparently, level 8 is the when you finish it up. Do you stream PvP? Um, not really, to be honest. I don't even like doing the PvP in this game. If I wanted to do that, I'd probably play World of Warcraft or something. <laughs> so let's see, now that this is done... We'll just hit up another contract real quick. Halls of Judgment, that's over here. Of course, the shrine is out in the middle of nowhere. They really need to put the shrines closer to the towns. So let's get this one done. I do want to get this to level 10, but man, doing the contracts daily for it is just a pain. I long to see the far corners of Tamriel. Damn. All right, how do I get up there? Is there a set path? <laughs> One last contract. I'm a thirsty blade and it's overdue for it. So aside from this, I feel like we might do some Witcher another time. Oh wait, where's the target? There's no excuse for that. Alright, I hope the target is upstairs away from other people. That just makes things easy. Uh, there you are away from everyone you're fortunately you're dead not suspicious greetings Let me just check something real quick. Uh, where is it? No. Damn, you can see people's stuff. Let's see, DLC achievements. Anyway, gotta get going, so I'll try to catch another stream in the future. You're a good streamer, keep up the good work. Thanks, man, have a good day. Or night. All right, complete the quest. Defeat bosses, explore delves. Oh. We killed 88 out of 100 people with the blade. Complete seven black sacraments. 
Murder 20 innocents in the Gold Coast City. There are so many achievements. But we got everything in terms of the story, though, so that's good. So overall, I would say if you're going to pick up this uh, DLC, uh, I think I put in maybe 15 to 20 hours just for the story alone. So I think if you're intending to 100% it or anything, you'll get at least like 50 hours worth of game time and stuff. But just for the story, pretty sure it took me like 20 hours, 15, 20. Not too sure about that. Let's go turn this in before we wrap everything up for the day. By the way, I just wanted to take the time to say if you enjoyed what you saw and what you heard today, feel free to hit the follow button. I try to stream at least five days a week, so I would love to see you guys come back. And if you don't already, I assume most of you guys are here from my YouTube channel. Uh, videos will go up as usual seven days a week. So thanks for coming out. And yeah. Just gonna turn this in, and with that said, tomorrow I'll probably be live with Witcher gameplay or Hitman, I'm not too sure. So, you guys are gonna have to let me know. And, um, yeah, today was a pretty eventful day. We completed the DLC. Got the gold, let's accept this for tomorrow. And we got a champion point. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys will return. So have a fantastic day.